Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Before we hand over the floor to Nunjia Defense Council to put further questions to the witness, the chamber wishes to tell the witness that if you refer to the accused, you should address him by his name. You, do, you should not uh, use his alias. That, is, that should be uh, the way the uh, witness uh, should address so that it voilà is uh, clear for the record. For example, Kyu Sampon or Nguyen Chir or Yeng Sari, who are the accused here, they should be addressed by their names. Il faut so les par now I hand problem. over to the counsel for Nguyen Chir to put further questions to the witness. La parole est maintenant la défense de Nguyen Chir. You may proceed. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Yuk Cheng. Uh, be, before I ask my questions, I know that I have uh, raised this issue at the beginning of my questioning, but I'm looking at the clock, and it would greatly assist me in my uh, preparation for the following hour if you could give me any indication as to whether I would have more time this afternoon. Otherwise, I will have to truly compress my questioning, and that might not be the most efficient way to proceed if I then indeed get afforded more time in the afternoon. So is there any further indi indication you could give me? La chambre peut-elle donc me dire si elle me laisse du temps supplémentaire cet après-midi? Madame, I the president. Le président. To make it clear regarding the time available for the council for Nguyen Chia, the clair, chamber, la chambre. the size that one Décide. half session in this afternoon will be given to the council for Nguyen Chia to put questions this afternoon. Sera accordé so uh, your question time will be uh, finished by 2.40 this afternoon. Vous en avoir Thank you, uh, Mr. President. That is uh, very helpful. Je vous beaucoup, so, Mr. Yuk Chang, we, um, before the break, we were discussing um, your pause, email Chang, list, and de votre liste de distribution you courriel, indicated that you send out emails, many emails to many people, and um, we know this, we've all received your email communications, but my actual question was, did you recently resend the article which you co-wrote with Mr. John Churchari? Documenting the crimes of democratic Cambodia. Documenting the crimes of democratic Cambodia. Donc vous êtes le co-auteur avec John Churchari. Yes, I did. Réponse. Oui. So. Question. I will assume that you still stand by its contents. Je présume donc in this que article, vous maintenez. It is noted that one article, of the principal shortcomings of the 1979 trial documents is, and I quote, the appearance of political bias. And I again would like you to explain what is meant by this appearance of political bias and why does it render these documents, or no, let me ask you another question. Why is that a principal shortcoming of the 1979 trial documents? As I uh, said earlier, 
we uh, introduced uh, an expert from the United Nations in 1998 uh, to visit uh, the uh, documents uh, at the Tuas uh, Lain Museum, and uh, with, uh, the accused uh, were not uh, present at that time. So at that time, we saw that it was uh, more than necessary to have an independent tribunal, the tribunal that we have before us now. And we believe that uh, there will be other information that may be of use as well. That's why I introduced him uh, to the place. You mentioned in your answer uh, earlier before the break that certain documents had been destroyed by throwing them in the water. Can you tell us who destroyed documents by throwing them in the water? Answer. For documents thrown away into the water, you may inquire the officer of the uh, Ministry of uh, Propaganda and Information, uh, Instant Crime Province. Um, at that time, I saw that uh, more than 100,000 people wanted uh, a tribunal. So, uh, at that time, we met with them and we asked uh, where the documents uh, had been. And then at that time, they, I, I told them that uh, tens of thousands of people have uh, sent information to Ministry of Propaganda and Culture to establish a tribunal. And they told me that uh, those documents had already been thrown into waters. And I had the name list of people who were actually responsible for uh, taking care of those documents, and I believe that those officers are still working uh, in, in, in that place now, and I have the name list of them in, in my uh, center. So, Mr. Yuk Cheng, I, I assume you would be willing to provide the court with this list of names should the uh, trial chamber request you to do so. Answer. Uh, Stung Trang province uh, has province in their position the uh, name list of people who have actually filed a complaint in 1982-83, and in that document there were names of people who had prepared documents, and those whom I asked them about uh, the document that had been thrown into the river. You just mentioned that you yourself possess a list of names of people uh, that were involved in handling those documents, or is that, I, I, hear, I see you shaking your head, that's not a correct uh, rendering of your words? Response, uh, the list was not prepared by us. It was prepared uh, already by people at Stung Trang, and we located the list, and we were trying to verify it. So, to be clear, the list was prepared by the Department of Propaganda and Culture of the province, and we asked questions to people who took hold of the list, uh, the list of people who filed their complaints in 1983 or 1982, 1982 and they told us that the documents had already been thrown into the Mekong River. Exactly, and this list is now in your en possession, effet. and you en could effet. give that list to the tribunal if the trial chamber request, si chambre requests you to hand over that demand. list. Response, yes, indeed. Réponse, effectivement. Thank you. Question. Merci. Another question relating to a, a confession that um, was found at S21, and it is the a confession of a certain um, Rus Nim, and apparently his aliases were Niem Ros or Moul Sambat. First of all, do you recognize this name even if I pronounce it in the way that I do? Response, yes, I do uh, remember oui. this person's name. To your knowledge, 
how many versions of his confession exist de at Tulsland Prison? À la prison de Response, I don't um, know for sure, but I am sure that there will be such a confessions. And uh, you can also refer to our database to see how many pages this confession contain. Notre base de pour de pages do you know, and it may very well be question. that you do not know, but do you know que whether vous savez the confessions si that are available at S21, qui sont are they S21? all the confessions that he has les delivered, or might there be confessions Missing. I'm asking for your personal knowledge. Qui ont été faits, ou bien s'il y a des parties qui manquent. Peut-être que vous ne pourriez pas répondre, mais je vous pose la question. Response. Response. I have been trying to locate uh, all the confessions essayé de retrouver because I tous les know that there uh, were more than 10,000 prisoners Car je sais y avait plus de 10 000 gave us interviews told us that everyone who entered S21 had to have their photo taken and biography uh, written. So I also found out that there is another list uh, kept by Lai Wallet qui était en possession de Like Wallet And to see whether any other individuals could have borrowed uh, the confessions voulu of savoir si books. Était possible And if so, could we les uh, locate uh, those uh, borrowers so that the, the documents be returned to the S21 and les uh, can be verified. Until these days, I can say that uh, we cannot gather jour, all the confessions. We have uh, roughly over 4,000 confessions, uh, and I'm, uh, I am sure that we can locate uh, further confessions if we uh, Aiming je pense to get que more. On pourra retrouver les avoirs en question. Thank you. And in your quest for finding question. more confessions, have you ever specifically looked for more confessions as que vous avez en particulier delivered by Mr. Rosnien? Response, I'm not Réponse. sure. If the documents are from Tool Slang, there, this document could be available in microfilm, and si there is no reason Slang, that they must be transferred to uh, be stored at uh, the DC cam. Et il a pas de raison de transférer ces documents au and I, I feel that uh, there is a copy of uh, Rusnyam's confession in our office. Nous avons au centre un des aveux My de question was, Rosnyam. have you ever looked question. for Ma question other la suivante. Avez -vous confessions fait des that may or may not have been made by Mr. Rusnyam? Response, Response. Uh, I'm not sure on this. Okay. Thank you. I will Question. briefly move on to a Je vais next topic that we au thème suivant, also discussed with your deputy, and that is the archive of um, adjoint, uh, King uh, Father Nordom Sienuk. And your deputy has testified that Nordom this archive Sienuk, apparently existed uh, in online form for a, a short period of time. Avait été Do you know where the hard copy archive brièvement. of the King Father Nordom Sienuk que vous savez uh, is located? Où se trouvent les documents papiers de ces archives? The response, I think I need to uh, talk uh, in details a little bit uh, Ici, je on dois this. Dans uh, we got uh, the archives of the king that was uh, online temporarily. We printed the documents from the website. 
Nous avons imprimé les documents à partir du site web the et par la suite, l'ancien roi a décidé que ces documents devaient être and, uh, conservés en Belgique. Why, uh, the documents could les gens not be se sont demandé pourquoi DCCAM. les documents ne pouvaient We pas être conservés au DCCAM. Nous avons reçu uh, les documents who rise et photos the former king's par biography. He is now in Monash University, Australia. Lequel a rédigé la biographie de l'ancien roi Just et à présent sure il est dans une Are université en Australie. Question, pour être sûr d'avoir bien compris, dites-vous que les documents papiers des archives du roi Sianouk sont en Belgique um. Response. Réponse. I remember that it was in the far east uh, university in Belgium, and uh, there was a debate also why the documents could not be stored uh, in Cambodia instead uh, they stored in Belgium. I think it's a long story. Il y a eu un débat là-dessus. Do you know if this archive is now accessible to Question, outside researchers? Ces archives sont-elles accessibles à des chercheurs uh, externes? Response. Since it is the Far East institution, it is for the research purpose. Perhaps uh, the documents could be accessible online. We should try. Réponse. Il se peut que les documents soient accessibles en ligne à des fins de recherche. Il faudrait essayer. Have you tried to access King Father Nordom Sianouk's archive in Belgium? D'avoir accès aux archives du roi Nordom Sianouk en Belgique. Tomate Maïni. Response. Are you referring to the current uh, situation? But Tomate Maïni, are they there? If currently, no. And when Pas actuellement. the collection was Question. available online, did Quand you make la était accessible en ligne, printouts of que vous all avez the documents des documents that had been posted online qui by the person Internet. in charge of that particular website? Some response. Uh, could you please uh, 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 simplify your question and make it short? Uh, Pouvez-vous simplifier votre question You've stated la that plus précise. Question. The archive of the King Father has been posted online for a short Les archives time. du roi Sianouk ont été brièvement affichées en ligne. You made printouts of vous avez dit que vous aviez documents imprimé plusieurs documents were available online. qui étaient consultables sur l'Internet. La question est la suivante. Avez-vous imprimé tous les online? documents qui étaient accessibles en ligne Réponse. Non. No. At non. that, at one moment, uh, uh, we, uh, I tried to uh, copy the whole website, and I also learned that the king would like to have it sold to documents. other institution. I tried uh, to copy the whole website. Uh, Uh, but the internet uh, was very slow. It was not successful. We only uh, obtained some documents that could be printed out back then, not the whole documents. Thank you. Um, I will Question. leave this topic for what it is, and I would like to uh, briefly come back to something you stated um, this morning because I was uh, unclear about one regarding one particular. Issue. Un point. It came up when we spoke about Nous forensic testing of documents. And des documents. you described a conversation you Vous had had with representatives of this tribunal in 2005 regard, regarding the um, possible authentication of documents. Les documents. And you seem to say. Uh, And I don't want to put words in your mouth, je ne veux but you seem to say that des propos, the uh, court representatives seem not CETC very keen to establish proper procedures 
de fixer des procédures adéquates d'authentification des documents. Pouvez-vous vous entendre là-dessus, à savoir ces conversations avec des représentants des CETC Normally, I never had oral conversation with a verbal conversation with people at the court. I normally communicated through writing. I also did so with the royal government of Cambodia. I stated clearly that it is really important that there should be mechanism to. Uh, ensure the authenticity of the documents because the purpose of having the documents, documents is to ensure that uh, it will be properly used. And uh, these uh, communications or correspondences that I send to uh, people have been well kept at my place. I have received, uh, uh, I, talk, uh, I wrote to the Office of Co-Investigating uh, Judges and the Office of Co-Prosecutors, and uh, we uh, told them uh, that uh, documents uh, would be given to them, but uh, so far there has not been there had not been any memorandum signed jointly. And uh, when Mrs. Michelle and Mr. Sien Wissot were still in office, I talked to them. Uh, and asked them whether we can, could establish any procedure uh, to ensure the authenticity of the documents. And I was a little bit uh, angry or uh, disappointed uh, back then because uh, people whom I contacted did not even respond to me whether we should uh, have such a mechanism in place because uh, I was uh, trying my best to ensure that uh, we got the proper mechanism in place. I was trying to contact the Office of Administration. Uh, in particular, I didn't even talk to Office of Co-Prosecutors directly in the first place. We never received any comments uh, from the, the Office of Administration, but uh, indeed we received only one response uh, from the Office of Administration uh, thanking us for providing the court uh, or Office of Administration with uh, roughly 500,000 uh, pages of documents. And uh, at our place, uh, any piece of document to be copied needs uh, to be calculated, uh, the, uh, the cost needs to be calculated uh, locally. And uh, we à cette opération. wanted a process, in particular an agreement with the court, for example, if a defense counsel uh, wishes uh, to verify the document or challenge any authenticity of the document, Pour then we could have the agreement in place, but so far we have never had such paper signed. Par la défense, par exemple. Thank you, uh, Mr. Yuchenga, that, uh, that is clear. En place, mais cela pas pu <coughs> um, Question. Merci. Cela clarifie les choses. I would like to um, ask a few questions as to um, questions. what you do with documents once you have received them. And um, you've already uh, stated uh, last week that DCCAM does not assess passée, whether a document contains inculpatory information. And si un document donné I would des à like to à explore this a little bit further, and I would like to uh, first start by showing um, the cover page for the book Seven Candidates for Prosecution, and it's uh, seven e, candidates for document prosecution. E3 slash 48, and it's ERN, English ERN 00393471 until 3641, and French ERN 00729651 until 9662, and the Khmer ERN 00742603 until 2623. Can we... The President... Uh, Council, could you 
repeat uh, the question Je vais because vous la question. Uh, you uh, were too fast uh, when reading out uh, the ER and numbers. Please be slower for good record. My apologies, uh, Your Honor. I have not actually asked the question, Désolé. but je um, pas posé la question. I would like to have the cover page um, for this uh, book, The Seven Candidates for Prosecution, Seven candidates shown for prosecution. on the screen so, the, so that the witness can testify as to whether uh, this is indeed a, a DC CAM publication. Si so, uh, with your permission, if, if it's necessary, I can repeat the ERN numbers and I will speak more slowly. Et je vais parler plus lentement. Response. As uh, counsel note, uh, this document Comme has been uh, republished by a university in the United States. And we got a page American. called Disclaimer. Uh, it was uh, the research uh, done uh, by uh, Mr. Steve Hedder and another author. Il s'agit de recherches uh, faites par Stephen et uh, we would like to uh, publish this uh, document again that we asked them to do so and uh, normally we use the term disclaimer and uh, for this reason uh, it is um, the, the authors who uh, shall be referred to and le document s'accompagnait donc d'un avertissement indiquant these documents are uh, uh, relevant to the auteurs, uh, 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 to the um, telegrams, rather. Et cela concerne des Thank telegrams. you, Mr. Yuk-Chang, and it's true that this uh, book contains disclaimer, Merci. basically saying that the Effectivement, views expressed in this book are the views of uh, the authors, in this case, Mr. Stephen Hatter and uh, Mr. Auteurs, Brian D. Uh, Tittemore. I um, just point out to you that this book can be found on the DCCAM website and it's listed under uh, publications. Mm -hmm. So um, you, you have been involved in, 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 in the publication of this, this book as in the, the title page shows. Um, but I would actually... I'm not that interested in the book itself, but I'm interested in the foreword. Uh, if we can scroll to the foreword to the second edition, uh, which can be found on ERN 00393483. ERN 00393483. I can tell you that. Well, maybe it's for your for your overview. It's best if we scroll to the bottom of the second page. And there we see the um, um, see who wrote this forward, it on would be de uh, Mr. Yuk Chang, director of DC CAM, and Mr. John Yuk D. Chang, Chorchari, DC CAM, DC -CAM et legal John D. advisor. So if we scroll DC -CAM. back to the uh, first page of the forward Revenons and look at page um, de the la um, first paragraph of this forward, uh, you state that the accountability project is uh, now represents one of the core activities of the center. And um, in the second paragraph, you state that the accountability project has two major goals. And the first goal, according to this forward, is to produce information that can serve as potential evidence in the prospective criminal trials of certain former CPK officials. And de certains anciens um, responsables du the PCK. third paragraph, I will quote, Je vais citer un um, du troisième paragraphe. You, will, présent, you state that the accountability project has two major parts. Uh, the first, which is volets. related le to the publication of this report, rapport, involves analysis of documentary de evidence. And I just note for the record that According to this forward, you, um, préface, or DC CAM analyzes evidence, le DC -CAM and this analysis leads to, or is related to, this report, which is called Seven Candidates for 
seven prosecution. candidates for prosecution. Um, Sept personnes susceptibles d'être poursuivies. Can you tell us in what way you analyze Comment documentary evidence -vous les preuves documentaires? as you state in this forward Comme to this book? Dans cette préface. Response. As I indicated uh, with the relevant disclaimer, it is uh, Steve Heather Comme je and dit, the other co-authors uh, who are responsible for uh, the Heather content of the article. Qui sont responsables de la teneur de article. Person, uh, evidence in this text. I may say that law does not monopolize Dans ce texte, evidence. il est fait mention du mot evidence ou preuve, or ce terme n'est pas employé qu'en droit. And uh, Steve Heather used uh, documents uh, Steve that are relevant to the interviews, telegrams and confessions. Documents, documents des and if you look at the first uh, paragraph and the second paragraph about reconciliation, uh, the part which you skipped, vous avez sauté une uh, you didn't read it out. Uh, if you look at uh, section two, I remember very clearly that we discussed uh, with uh, John that our position John, uh, was a national reconciliation. So you may refer to uh, that text uh, again. Uh, Mr. Yu Cheng, I do not dispute that one of the goals of DCCAM is national reconciliation. I just note that, according to your own words, uh, the first goal le premier of objectif the accountability project is to produce information that can serve as potential evidence, and the second goal is to foster reconciliation. I'm not saying that there is a certain level of hierarchy here, Je ne just pas noting that you, know, you uh, comment on the uh, producing of Mais potential si evidence as your first goal. De la Secondly, de preuve de preuve comme étant votre I agree with you that Deuxièmement. there is a disclaimer in this book, and comme that it is the views of uh, Mr. Steve garde, Hatter and Mr. Brian Tittemore that are reflected in this book. Se dans le livre I'm not asking you about this. I am looking at the auteurs. third paragraph, and Ce there it uh, states that the accountability project uh, has two major parts. The first involves analysis of documentary evidence. Des this is not Steve Hatter analyzing. This is not Brian Tittemore analyzing. This is ce ne sont pas les auteurs people at the accountability project analyzing documentary evidence. What type of analysis do you perform en quoi regarding this evidence? Cette analyse des preuves documentaires. Réponse. Response. I think uh, this uh, section may be relevant to the translation of the telegrams. Ceci because we would like uh, to have telegrams uh, printed and we asked uh, for funds uh, to uh, print, uh, to translate telegrams. Nous avons all the des telegrams into English. Pour la traduction but the situation anglais. was not favorable and uh, the documents uh, could not be printed. La situation and uh, during the course of translation of the telegrams, we made uh, requests uh, to the court. Uh, nous nous we asked our former staff, Mr. Su, nous nous Su uh, to write a brief employé, summary Su, of uh, the telegrams. De rédiger un bref and résumé des telegrams. Uh, all the documents that had uh, been summarized would uh, need to be sent uh, to the court to expedite uh, the proceedings. And uh, I believe that this uh, portion may be relevant to the, the telegrams uh, that are uh, translated, uh, I guess. Des so, so your answer is that the Question. analysis Votre that is done est donc as part of the accountability project relates to the translation of telegrams. Telegram. That's your answer. Tell is your response, pas? Response. Um, the president interrupts. Uh, president uh, witness, uh, could you please uh, wait? Uh, international co prosecutor, you may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. We were reluctant to intervene uh, for a while there. But, uh, um, 
we do object now because Mais I think my friend is uh, returning to a topic Mon which was examined uh, last week on the 2nd of February uh, and it relates to um, DC CAM's objectives and uh, skepticism I think which my friend DCK might uh, hold in relation to um, their work and their outlook uh, in relation to the tribunal. Uh, and, and I think Your Honour has ruled that you understood uh, the position the defence was taking, but that you had heard enough la and a were directing my friend to move on. I think we're back to that same ground. And, uh, I'll, 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 I'll refrain from objecting, but I think my friend problème. is continuing that line of questioning. And I think um, Your Honour should uh, type, direct him to move on. Devrait lui dire de passer à la suite. Um, Mr. President, if I may respond, I am um, not at this point à ce stade, je ne pose pas de questions sur un éventuel parti pris de la part du DCCAM. Je n'exprime aucun scepticisme quant aux objectifs du centre. Ma question porte précisément sur la manière dont le DCCAM traite les éléments de preuve, comment ceux-ci sont organisés et comment ces informations sont ensuite communiquées à des tierces parties et plus précisément au CETC. Je ne pose pas de questions sur d'éventuelles motivations cachées du DCCAM. Ma question porte sur le travail effectif qui est réalisé au DCCAM concernant ces documents. Il s'agit du traitement et du transfert des documents. Quel est l'objet précisément de l'audience de ce matin Raison pour laquelle je demande aux témoins de répondre à la question. Uh, President, International co-prosecutor's objection, objection de is sustained uh, because retenu. it was uh, properly reasoned. Car bien the witness is instructed not to respond to that particular question and Monsieur counsel Timon is advised to uh, proceed with other questions instead. La défense de passer une autre série de questions. Thank you, Mr. President. I will um, move on then to uh, a third line in that same paragraph, if it can be shown to the witness. And uh, it is the line reads Since 2001, members of the DC CAM staff have worked to compile documentary collections related to each of 10 former CPK officials. Can you give us the names of these 10 former CPK officials or is that confidential information? Responsable du PCK. Pouvez-vous nous donner les noms de ces 10 responsables du PCK ou s'agit-il d'informations confidentielles? As I uh, said earlier, there are two lists. Uh, one was uh, established by Ben Cannon. Uh, it was published by Genocide and Democracy in Cambodia. Actually, he named 20 uh, 
they are supposed to be the CPK officials and there is another list uh, the biographies the of the uh, uh, former uh, CPK uh, leaders and there were more than 20 such biographies and if you uh, look at uh, page 14 13 and 14 of this book you will see all the names of those uh, individual CPK officials which I indicated to us so I was not asking about um, Ben Kiernan li Kiernan's list, but I was asking about the 10 former CPK officials that staff at DCCAM has compiled documentary evidence on. I re repeat my question. Can you give us the names of those 10 former CPK officials? I remember only five, at least at least five of them, but I don't remember others, but you can refer to that document. Uh, those five uh, has the uh, a precise uh, position, namely uh, Mr. Nguyen Chia, uh, who is a member of the Standing Committee, committee Yang Sari, Kiel Sampon, Yang Tiret. There are uh, informations about them, about the position they have, and there are also certain information that may be uh, helpful for them as well. And there are also information about their biographies as well, starting from their historical education and uh, until their uh, letter life as well. So, of course, those five uh, individuals were in uh, the name list as well. Mr. Yuk Chang, I did not doubt that. Those five individuals would be uh, named, but can you or can you not give us the names of the five um, other? Nous les noms des cinq I, we are Looks up good. The president, uh, the prosecutor, you may oui, proceed. Your Honor's uh, objection is to relevance. We just see no relevance uh, to this line of questioning whatsoever. Mr. President, it's simply a question as to, again, how DCCAM organizes its work and how it organizes documents in certain specific filings. It's, we are here to explore how DCCAM processes evidence, how it handles evidence. I refrain from the use of the word analyze because I'm not allowed to speak about this. But this is a very straightforward question. Apparently, DCCAM organizes its evidence according to certain individual persons. And I do not see why this question would be problematic in any way. Le président. The objection by the international co-prosecutor is sustained because this question is not relevant to the uh, subject matter of the discussion now. So uh, the witness is directed not to answer this question. Le sujet l'ordre du jour et la chambre demande aux témoins de ne pas répondre. Okay, then I uh, thank you, Mr. President. I will refrain from Je questions that Monsieur relate President. to the Je analysis of evidence by DCCAM or the way DCCAM. that DCCAM organizes its evidence, DCCAM and I will move on to yet another topic, et je un, un um, which sujet. is again a publication by DCCAM that can be found on the website, and the title of this web, publication is. Something that was prepared by DCCAM for the purpose of outreach, and it is uh, called Genocide Who Are the Senior Khmer Rouge Leaders to Be Judged? The Importance of Case 2. And if we can show that on the screen. And if we can scroll to the first page to 
see who the authors of this uh, publication are. Qui sont les auteurs de ce document? It is, it is hard to read. Oui, is, it, is it possible to? Serait-il possible d'agrandir? That, that is better. Oui, ça, ça. Um, so the authors are um, auteurs Jaya Ramji Nogales Jaya and Ramji Anne Nogales Heindel. Et Anne can, you, Heindel. can you first tell us who these individuals are? Nous dire qui sont ces well, Guillaume, I actually like uh, the format of this uh, uh, book. Oui. Chaya Ramji uh, is, uh, is uh, a bon. consultant, Jaya and Anne Ramji Heindel uh, is also our Anne consultant Heindel whom we have uh, engaged in order to provide uh, 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 some consultancy on the uh, issue relating to the ECCC. Sure. Thank you. And if we then uh, scroll to the first page of this publication, we see another four words, and it is written uh, this time just by you, Mr. Yuk Chang. If we can show the first paragraph of that forward on the screen. Maybe try to make it legible, Et and de I will lisible. just read from this paragraph. Uh, you speak about Nunchia, Yengseri, Yengtirit, and Kyo Sampan, Sampan. and uh, you state these Vous leaders have not admitted any responsibility for the crimes of the period, but instead blamed the lower cadre and others. Their trial offers an important chance to show the DK regime made decisions that caused the deaths of nearly 2 million Cambodians. And uh, the first paragraph of this uh, paragraph is written by Yuk Chang. The first paragraph of this paragraph is written by Yuk Chang. The first paragraph of this paragraph is written by there is a lot of information that can be used in court to show that these leaders are guilty, including many documents that describe what they did and witnesses who can come to court and talk about what the leaders did. When I read this, it sounds like you have already reached an answer on an issue to which uh, this court still needs to provide a decision, and that is that the leaders were responsible for what happened in the country and are, in fact, guilty. And to me, it's also clear that one can only come to such a conclusion after the analysis of the evidence. Do you understand that that impression? Your Honor, sir, we'll object to that question. Again, I think my friend is returning to the opinions um, held by the witness, um, and your Honours have ruled that those issues are of you no know, relevance um, to the topic of these proceedings. Uh, so the question is irrelevant la in our view. Mr. President, if I, if I may briefly, this, is, this goes Maître directly to the heart of the matter, and that is the personal opinion of Mr. Yuk Chang, who is uh, de let's say the most important gatekeeper of all the evidence, or the majority of the evidence, that is available in this case. If these are, in fact, the convictions of Mr. Yu Cheng, it is relevant for us to know. As I stated last week or two weeks ago, we do not hold Mr. Yu Cheng at fault for having those convictions, but it needs to be established in court that he has them, that he has been dealing with these issues with a certain bias, cette question I mean that in a neutral sense of the word, partisan. he has been dealing with it as well, with a biased neutre, view of the matter, and that is that senior leaders are guilty, and um, that the documentary evidence actually establishes that. And cette again, I am trying to establish what Mr. Yuk Cheng's personal opinion on these matters is, because ici, it is clear that he takes these opinions with him when he goes to work as director of DC Cam. So, again, I would like to simply comment on these words that he himself wrote. He is the best person to provide us clarification on this issue.
President. Le président. The objection by the prosecution la Chambre is fairly substantiated. So the objection que l'objection de l'accusation est bien motivée so et fondée. Elle est donc retenue et le témoin n'a pas à répondre question. à cette dernière question. And again, the same matter arises. We have Nous nous retrouvons une fois, encore une fois confrontés à cette situation. La Chambre a rappelé aux parties of, uh, question, of these lines of questioning, and this was actually directed by Judge Cartwright la, la on Cartwright Thursday même, last week. La semaine dernière, a rappelé les instructions de la Chambre quant à ce type de question. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. I will um, move on to a um, further Président. topic then. Je passerai donc à un autre sujet. And that is the following. Um, your deputy, Mr. Dara, has told us Votre that uh, DC Cam has been free to look for information anywhere in que Cambodia. DC a pu partir à la recherche de renseignements partout Do you au agree with that assessment? Êtes-vous d'accord avec cette déclaration? Answer. Réponse. I agree with this uh, Je suis statement, but I have to be precise that uh, certain uh, areas where we went to visit uh, encountered visité, some uh, difficulty as well. For example, uh, there are different working procedures, different institutions, so by uh, getting uh, to the institution, we have to follow certain uh, uh, processes and, and procedures. Procedure. That's why we address uh, those uh, problems from time to time. Tout dépendant de l'organisme que nous visitons. Um, Mr. Dara has also Question. spoken about the archives of the uh, CPP. A aussi parlé des archives du Parti du Peuple I believe he indicated that you were free to do research in the archives of the CPP. Is that correct? Du parti. Est-ce vrai? If I may. L'accusation. Again, I think my friend is fishing uh, in the dark. These, plus, these matters may be of interest um, for the sake of newspapers and, and uh, external observers, but they bear no relevance. The documents that are before your honours, um, the purpose of this hearing is to deal with the specific documents, and it was in response to Nguyen Chia's request that we provided a table of all of the documents which are on the case file and which originate from DCK. If my friend wishes to deal with categories of those documents and explore the areas of relevance and reliability by reference to DCK methods for recording and treating the documents, then we would not object, but to engage in a broad inquiry about where DC Cam collects documents that has no bearing, that has no relevance uh, for the documents that are et qui n'ont rien à voir avec les documents uh, qui sont sur la liste que nous avons fournis. Nous considérons qu'il s'agit d'une perte du temps de, de la hearing. Cour et que ce n'est pas pertinent pour les fins de cette audience. Mr. Président, I am baffled by the OCP's intervention. Uh, I hope that is uh, not too impolite a word, but poli, we are dealing here again with the methods Une fois de plus, of nous evidence collection de by DC Cam. I am not talking about the bias of DC Cam. I am not talking about the personal opinions of Mr. Yu Chang. I am asking a very simple question, and that is simple. whether DC Cam was uh, allowed si to do research in the CPP archives. If I recall correctly, the OCP has actually explored si this very issue in its own line of questioning uh, where it tried to establish where DC Cam had been looking for documents and what cooperation they got from the specific other institutions. I am not sure why OCP is allowed to ask about access to the national archives or uh, the Ministry of Interior, and I am not allowed to ask questions about access to the CPP archives. It's a very straightforward question, and it relates directly to uh, the 
access that TC CAM has been given by third institution. So I would invite the witness to respond to this question with your permission. The President, the witness, uh, please uh, uh, hold on. Le président veut y attendre. The President. The President. The objection is not sustained. La Chambre rejette the witness de should respond to the last question posed by the Defense Council. À la de la the witness. Uh, thank you, Mr. Monsieur President. Monsieur I am very, I'm more than happy to answer this Monsieur question. I think everyone has been confused because uh, sometime in 1993, uh, the Cambodian People's uh, Party has uh, an archive. Uh, this archive uh, uh, actually was uh, established by a joint committee between Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. And uh, this was actually uh, model from the uh, uh, Stalin uh, institu Institute and uh, this actually uh, archive was uh, closed and I tried Mr. JCP and Jay Sopon were the uh, members of this committee and I went to Vietnam to Laos as well. I would like to explore how the uh, committee worked, uh, how the committee worked uh, together. But well, uh, seen, this is not an institution, it does not have a, a building or so, so I uh, decided to uh, incorporate this information on our website indicating that uh, we actually uh, have been to certain places, but we uh, cannot get all the necessary information, but the court may have better access uh, uh, due to its power. And I approached uh, His Excellency uh, Sai Chum, and he told me that, of course, this archive had already been closed. Uh, there was a, a committee for the a history of the Revolutionary Party of the three countries, and they exchange information in order to uh, construct the history of the Revolutionary Party of the two of the three uh, countries. But there was no building whatsoever now because it was uh, uh, it, it had been closed. And I approached individual uh, archive, and when I uh, when I collected this document, the document was scattered. And I went to Vietnam and Laos, and and the two countries, Vietnam and Laos, issue. A, a books on the history of their own revolutionary party, but in Cambodia there have been a change in political lines, and then the general election was held in 1993. And I actually posed this question publicly with the hope that uh, sooner or later the court may be able to find information as well. That's why I believe that parties uh, question about that because I, I have also far posed that question on the website as well, so it, ar it arouses curiosity by parties, I believe. Thank you, uh, Mr. Yuk Chang. I I believe that you may have been speaking slightly too fast for the uh, translators, and I, it's not my 
task to ask you to speak more slowly, de but de I certainly didn't understand everything that you were saying. So let me restart by asking a simple question. Is there, question is there such a thing as the CPP archives? Is there a collection of documents that you would refer to as the CPP archives? Les archives du Parti du Peuple Cambodien. Uh, this archive uh, is n was uh, closed in 1993. It Ces was named the uh, the uh, history of the people revolutionary of Cambodia and actually es established a uh, committee, uh, a tripartite committee of uh, Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia, and it modeled Vietnam, the uh, history institute of uh, the former Soviet Union. I uh, try to approach Mr. Jay Sopon, who was the uh, chairman of this, and uh, I, I asked him, when I met him, uh, actually this institution was already closed down. I was not satisfied with the answer he gave me, so I went to Vietnam, because I believe that there must be Vietnam, uh, there must be documents of, uh, of Cambodia uh, in the custody of Vietnam, and I also went to Laos as well. But what I learned was that, uh, of course, in Laos and Vietnam, they published one joint uh, a histor history book on the uh, history of the Revolutionary Party of uh, Vietnam. And I was not, uh, I did not contend with that, uh, so I decided to pose this question publicly. I hope that uh, once we have uh, a tribunal, as we are having uh, today, the court might have a better ways in order to find documents, particularly to uh, uh, clear the uh, doubt uh, for the public uh, as how it public. was uh, going about, because I was the one who had uh, tried to uh, get all of this information. Thank you, Mr. Yuk Chang. Question. So I understand, if I understand you correctly, the original si compris, CPP archive closed in 1993. PPC ont été to your knowledge, fermé, ou les du PPC ont été does the 93. CPP still have documents relating to the DK era in its possession. Documents datant du Cambodia Democratic. Are you talking about uh, its existence uh, today? Indeed, I am talking about today. Do you know whether the CPP still possesses DK-era documents? Do you know whether the CPP documents datant de l'époque du Cambodia Democratic? When the court was established in 2005, I made an open announcement uh, to the world. I, I uh, actually wrote uh, an open appeal uh, in Khmer, in English, in French, and I posted on our website, and I sent it to all embassies in Phnom Penh uh, to uh, give documents uh, to the tribunal. I, I mentioned in my letter that, of course, the court should be the first uh, place to receive uh, the document uh, given by them. So I have actually publicized uh, such an open appeal. I sent emails uh, and sent uh, this letter to uh, embassies as well. And I, I think that it is the sole role of the uh, tribunal in order to uh, find those documents. We cannot. Uh, affirm that we have 100 percent of the document, and if we believe that there will be other uh, documents in possession of others in other places as well. That's why we have tried our utmost uh, so far to collect up to around one million documents, but this is not exhaustive. We believe that there will be others, uh, others who may have in their possession as well, so it is up to the court to uh, find uh, those documents, and we do not consider our place as a judicial body to collect uh, those documents. And even though we have permission from the government to conduct research, uh, but we do not have uh, all of the documents we may want to. It's a very long answer, but it's not an answer to the question I asked you. The question I asked you is, do you know whether the CPP 
Still, aussi le passé du peuple du peuple cambodgien détient encore des documents remontant à l'époque du Cambodge démocratique. Il s'agit d'une question bien simple et une réponse oui ou non suffirait. Cannot be answered with a yes or no because you talk about documents relating to the democratic Cambodia and the other types of documents are contemporaneous documents of the DK. If you talk about the relevant document to the DK period, there are plenty of them because even even today people talk about democratic Cambodia. So I need to give you an explanation on that when you ask this question. It cannot be an answer. You are you're totally right, and uh, I will then oui, vous avez tout rephrase my question and ma question. make it into a actual yes or no question. Do you question know whether fermée. the CPP possesses si le Parti du documents that actually stem from the 1975 to 1979 era, original DK era documents, de la du démocratique? I think if, uh, since in the archive was closed, then even if uh, those si documents uh, was available, it must be within si individual archives. Ces documents étaient disponibles, ils doivent être aussi. Sorry, I didn't not not understand personnel. your question. Can you question. Um, rephrase Je your answer? Votre uh, sorry, I, um, I am of réponse. the view that. Uh, Government officials uh, may have uh, those contemporaneous uh, DK documents uh, personally, but if we talk about the archive as an institution, uh, it is no si longer available because this institution, institution was closed because the archive of the uh, history of the People's Revolutionary uh, Party was closed in 1993. And uh, so far, individuals who are now members of the royal government has given me uh, documents as well personally. Mais des membres du gouvernement Thank you, that, Cambodge, that is a clear answer. And um, continuing on that topic, uh, Mr. Kyr Kanarit has clair, been aussi. mentioned several times as a, Monsieur a donor of a certain documents. Comme and de my documents. question to you is, has Mr. Kyr Kanarit provided you si with Kanarit all vous the original DK era documents, documents that he Originaux, has in, ha, in his possession, du or don't you know? Qu'il a en sa possession, ou ne le savez-vous pas? I, I do know about this. Réponse. Oui, Can je you uh, provide with an answer? Response. Uh, I uh, was trying to be brief, and now you ask bref. me to be Dans ma uh, long. Et là, maintenant, vous me demandez une réponse uh, longue. The documents concerning the CPK was obtained from Mr. Kyu Kanyaret, and I was asked where the provenance of the document could have been. So we received uh, the response in writing, and I think I communicated this to the Office of Co-Investigating Judges already. Um, Mr. Kyu Kanyaret said very clearly when I asked uh, where the uh, document could uh, originally uh, come from, and he uh, said he was sure that uh, he handed uh, the documents to Mr. Ben Kiernan. Uh, I made uh, communications to uh, him in writings, and I kept a good record of uh, such correspondences. This uh, was, the, of course, the note of the meetings of the Standing Committee, which we refer to. Thank you. And to your knowledge, has Mr. Kyr Kanarit provided you with all the original DK era documents that he has in his possession? Mr. Kyr Kanarit, respond to me or to uh, other people? To DC Cam. Question. Remis au DC Cam. Response. No. No. This is a Question. short answer, and I appreciate it, but I'm not sure Merci. what the answer Mais je ne suis pas relates to. Um, do you know la if Mr. Kyu Kanarit si today still possesses jour, original DK era documents, documents that DC Cam does not have in his possession? 
que le DCCAM n'aurait pas en sa possession. Réponse. Réponse. I don't know. Je n'en sais rien. You may ask him. Il faudrait peut-être lui poser la question. About this. I say that Je lui ai une fois parlé de cela. Il m'a dit que les documents avaient été envoyés à Ben Kiernan. Thank you, counsel, and thank you, voilà ce qu'il m'a dit. Le président, merci aux témoins et à l'avocat de la défense. Le moment uh, est venu the court will adjourn de suspendre l'audience. Les débats reprendront à 13h30 après le déjeuner. During the adjournment, a court officer is instructed to assist the witness so that he can fournir son assistance au témoin pour que celui-ci se reposer. Il est également demandé de ramener le prétoire avant 13h30. Thank you, Mr. President. I have in my hands the wave for my client regarding this afternoon's session. I can't be requested to follow the remainder of the session. Thank you, Mr. President. I have in my hands the wave for my client regarding this afternoon's session. I can't be requested to follow the remainder of the session. The President, we note the request by Nunchia through his counsel and ask that the client be excused from this courtroom and follow the proceeding from the holding cell. The AV equipment has already been Uh, le matériel audiovisuel a déjà été branché. La chambre fait droit à la requête. Nunchia Council is now instructed to present this waiver signed by or thumbprint by the accused person, and that every equipment, every officers are instructed to make sure that the AV equipment is well linked to the holding cell. So that the accused person can observe the proceeding remotely, security personnel are now instructed to take his pawn and Nunchia to the holding cell and return the accused pawn back to the courtroom before one thirty. The court is at the cell provisoire and to bring the accused pawn to the prétoire before one thirty.